So it was recently announced that they are going to make a third installment to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies that were released in 2014 and 16. So I figured with the announcement of that news that they're making a third film in this franchise, why not look back at what I think of the, the original two movies. The very first one that came out in 2014, I was so excited when I heard about the news that they were making a new Ninja Turtles movie because I grew up with Ninja Turtles. I love the Ninja Turtles and especially the original 90s Ninja Turtles because it was just, you know, that, to me that was awesome. Those movies were awesome with the exception of the third one. The third one was just god awful. But I was hoping in, when they came out with them, they would look a little bit more like that i mean like what this picture shows of them what they look like in justice but no we ended up getting these monstrosity looking ugly looking pieces of shit and you know the first movie was all right it is very i can watch it and just enjoy it for what it is but it's just the whole style of the whole damn movie of of the characters and how they you know just portray the characters, you know, old Mike's, you know, got to be the surfer, and, you know, just they made Donatello a complete-ass geek. We know he's smart, but really, did we have to put glasses and shit on him? It's the style that they went with it. I'm, I wasn't a fan of. And, and then they had made Shredder the fucking uh, Megatron of Ninja Turtles in that. And it just, it wasn't... I. It's an, like I said, it was an all right movie. I can watch this movie and be all right with it. Well, I'll put in the original movies. Absolutely, I'll put in the first two before I'd ever watch this one if I had a choice, especially the first one. But it was all right. It had the comedy and stuff. Um, I didn't mind Megan Fox's April O'Neil and stuff like that. Then, of course, we got the second film, Out of the Shadows, that came out in 2016. The trailers made this look like, okay, they're going to redeem, you know, with the exception of the look of the characters, they were going to redeem it. They brought in uh, Stephen Amell as Casey Jones. They were going to bring in Bebop, Rocksteady, Krang. I was like, okay, this is going to be like the 90s Ninja Turtles that, you know, I grew up with. But no, this fucking movie was awful. That second movie was so bad that I can't even make it through it when I try to watch it. I went to the theater to see it. And I was like, what? You know, the traders make it look so damn good and everything. And then you get that. And it's like, what the hell happened here? I mean, god awful. I mean, the casting in the damn movie was, I mean, why did they have to change the shredder? And the fact that they didn't even have the fucking shredder in it. Krang sounded like fucking awful. You know, just was just, no, that was, that was, I bet that was bad. Uh, Bebop and Rocksteady, I can deal with. They were all right. Casey Jones didn't really, you know, he wasn't, Stephen Amell didn't, uh, he might have done good, but he might not have been, he, if he had had a better script, he probably would have been, been a lot better in the film. But yeah, this movie was just, just god awful, and I don't recommend that one to anybody. So that is how I feel about these first two films. I'm not a big fan of them. I can deal with them and everything, but especially the second one I can't deal with so they said the third one was supposed to be some kind of type reboot of it how are you going to do a third film and a reboot I don't know but it is what it is I guess leave your comments in the box below guys until next time also if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and until next time that has been another throwback and rewind